Hi, and welcome to a brief introduction of iambic pentameter. You're probably wondering what iambic pentameter is. Iambic pentameter is a type of poetry made popular by Shakespeare, and unlike other types of poetry, it's actually based not on rhyme, but on a pattern of stressed and unstressed syllables. Stressed syllables are marked with a slash, like this, and unstressed syllables are marked with a mark that to me resembles a U but without the tail. That's how I remember unstressed looks like a U, stressed looks like a slash. S and S, U and U. And I am is what you have when you have an unstressed syllable followed by a stressed syllable. And pentameter means that you have five of something. So iambic pentameter means five I ams. Now when you're given a line, such as these lines that I've taken from Act 1, Scene 1 of Romeo and Juliet, and you're asked to mark it and see if it's iambic pentameter, designating the stressed and unstressed syllables, the easiest way to begin is to count your syllables and see how many syllables you have in a given line. Re bel yus subjects enemies to peace. This line has ten syllables, so it follows the traditional pattern. I'm going to start with an unstressed syllable, and I should end with a stressed syllable. If I alternate, we see that it fits. This is a traditional line of iambic pentameter. Profaners of this neighbor stain ed steel. Starting with an unstressed, it should end with a stressed if it's correct iambic pentameter or traditional iambic pentameter. Profaners of this neighbor stained steel. Perfect. It follows the traditional structure. Now let's say you've got the basics down for iambic pentameter and you just want to impress your friends. Here's a little bit of poetry jargon when it comes to iambic pentameter. Scanning is the act of marking stressed and unstressed syllables. So when you're making your U's and your slash marks, you are scanning a poem. Meter is what we call the rhythmic structure. Okay, So iambic pentameter is a type of meter. And the study of metrical patterns, such as iambic tameter, well, that's called prosody. So if you want to impress your parents and they ask you what you're learning about in school, you can say, oh, I'm just learning a little prosody, you know, scanning and finding the meter of different poems, and they'll be impressed every time.